Hello everyone, in this video we will look at the liquid fill gauge for Power BI. Uh, so I've already imported the liquid fill gauge from the customs uh, gal gallery, custom visuals gallery for Power BI. And I'm going to use a uh, list of countries by external GDP, external debt to GDP ratio for the purpose of uh, this graph. So I've already imported the data what I will do here is I will grab this. I've got the custom visual on and I'll grab a filter. So I'll have the country's filter on the side and I'll sort of increase the size of this. And what I'll do is I will just for this, I will have the countries because what I want to do is I want to see for each country what is or for a particular country, what is the ratio of external debt to GDP. And now I'll select the liquid fill gauge and I'll say give me the ratio of external debt to GDP. And uh, well, that's because we've not got any country selected. So um, we'll use Malaysia. Um, it's got a So let's say we select Malaysia. So it's got a 63.7% uh, GDP to external debt ratio. Now, as you can see with the liquid fill, um, let's select the liquid fill uh, gauge and let's go to the options or the formatting. So as you can see, you can change the text color. So uh, let's say I want to have uh, a yellow text color. So I'll select that. So as you can see, when it's the wave is rising up, it shows that particular color. And let's say that after the wave has come up, I want the color to be yellow as well. Now, let's say I've got the circle. I want the color of the circle to be red. And I want the thickness to be, well, maybe I just say, So I can reduce or increase the thickness as I want. Now this fill gap is basically the difference between the circle, the distance between the circle and the wave. You can play with it. I really don't like playing with it. Mm, it's a bit tricky, but for sure, if you want to, you can. You can change the color of the wave. So you can, let's say you want um, a different color for the wave. Uh, this doesn't look good at all. Let's uh, choose a different color. So you can select a different color for the wave. You can select the rise time as well. So um, at the moment it's really fast and I say I want to animate it and I want it to be 2000. So it'll be coming up slightly slower. Or if I, if I go in and say 10,000. So it, the wave will come up really, really, really slowly. You can experiment with other uh, options as well, uh, but I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to the liquid fill gauge for the Power BI desktop. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.